Hey there, lovely soul, and welcome to this video for the full moon. Here today, as I'm recording this, it is the 28th. It is, oh wow, look at that. It's 221, almost 222 here on the 28th. This has been kind of a long time coming with this video. I've been working on setting up my my videos, I have two cameras here. So I have my card camera so we can really get a good look at my cards and me shuffling and the setup here and also my main camera here. Um, so this has, like I said, this has been um, something I've been working on for the last day, trying to set up video and audio and I'm having sinking, um, sinking issues with the audio and the video. So I've had to change my preferred idea which was having a a picture in picture kind of thing so the main the main camera here being the main the main uh video with the the camera or the the card camera being in the corner however the program that i use for that is i guess just having a hard time keeping everything situated i'm sure it's because of my relic dinosaur of a mac uh macbook that i have so what we're doing now is i've shifted so i can move on with my life <laughs> and i've shifted this so we have it um we have a side by side view here so i'm actually going to be uploading a separate video with just the main camera and also a separate video with just this uh camera video as well so anyway without further ado let's get into this i hope you like the new setup i hope that this sound works for you i'm going to try to keep my my face not too close and not too far away from the the microphone um and we are going to be getting into our full moon readings now this is very different than what i've done before and something that has that came to me kind of a little fluttering butterfly about do, working with birthdays or or numbers and dates and stuff and it just didn't quite hit until um these last couple days and so what we're going to be doing is going by your birthday so if your birthday is between the first and the fifth that first reading is for you the sixth through the uh, 11th then the 12th through the 16th the 17th through the 21st the 22nd through the 26th and then the 27th through the 31st so we have six reads i will be doing um a couple of other ones but we are going to be doing this one first and each of these six readings will incorporate some different cards um i have dragon fey uh sacred geometry archangel oracle i have archetypes hidden worlds um and then we are going to get into um for sure what we're going to be using is the moonology uh and light seers tarot and the dreams of gaia tarot so um Next, I want to get into what this full moon is all about. And right off the top, I want to send you over to Tanya Gabrielle. She is a astro numerologist. So she combines astrology with numerology, which is super awesome. And I highly recommend subscribing to her and watching all of her videos. But um, definitely go and watch the video about the full moon if you haven't already. There's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this full moon in um in libra where when where their sun is in aries both are at eight at eight degrees and um so of course they need to be at the same the same degree to 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 have the sun directly behind the moon to illuminate the moon perfectly for the full moon but then there's also a lot of other things going on um with our planets with the in in eight degrees so we have a stellium happening but again i don't want to take up time in this video um 
uh, trying to describe or or get into that because it's really her Tanya's thing and again I just really really encourage you to watch her video on the full moon for um for all of that information but the eights the infinity um symbol takes a a front and center uh um center stage there because everything is with the eights with the infinity symbol with um getting into the energy of our infinite nature connecting with our souls being strong in that energy being in that that zero point of the infinity symbol and having that balance and so really the beginning of this year has been about stabilizing and getting a nice solid firm smooth foundation for ourselves and sifting out anything that doesn't belong and getting things in a in a way that keeps us and gets us stable gets us into a place where we can receive we can connect we can heal we can make connections in our lives so we can put things together for myself this month it's been a lot of clearing out space and energies that pull from me and then also connecting deeply with the akashic records with my past lives and and going into very deep healing for myself so i can um really kind of solidify things moving forward and i know that that's been um maybe not the exact theme for theme for everybody but it's been about let's get things more stable let's find a peace let's let's really bring in our authenticity and tap into what makes us tick what fuels our fire what are our passions who are we what needs to be healed what are we in fear of what holds us back like all of these things all of these components that that make for a bumpy road and then what do we need to smooth that this um full moon I started feeling with the past full, with our last full moon, um, honestly, literally. And I talked about this full moon and this chunk of time between the last full moon and this full moon being really, really intense, very pivotal, a lot of big changes and revelations and, and stuff coming up in this time period. And boy, Yes, it's definitely been that for us. So, um, so anyway, without further ado, I want to get into the readings. Um, hey there, and thank you for joining me for this second set of readings for birthdays, the 6th through the 11th. I am so happy to have you with me. Happy full moon officially to you. I hope that this reading offers you guidance perspective validation and advice moving forward um, into the future and again this reading is for the full moon for today the 28th of march 2021 going through the rest of the month through the 30 um, through the 31st and and then um we'll have a whole whole new set of business whole new oh there we go whole new set of business for our april let's see what we have here a personal issue reaches resolution i like it look at that a personal issue reaches resolution hmm interesting let's see what we get here we're gonna jump right in to our uh tarot cards and again, just to reiterate, um, there are a bunch of decks and cards that we can be getting into for these reads. I don't think that they're all going to be the same with the exact same cards being used. It's the exact same decks, I, could, I should say, being used. So we'll just see what we get here. But this personal, what does it say? A personal issue reaches resolution. So we're going to get clarity on something. There's going to be some form of um yeah resolution's a great word for that isn't it some form of ooh understanding let's just 
go down here? Oh, the five of air we got. Interesting. Let me, can you see that okay there? The air cards are kind of light in this deck. Let me add a little bit more. There we go. Five of air is our first card for, with the tarot for our, our dreams of Gaia tarot here. I'm going to take that down and move it here. Whoa. We have the ace of air coming in after that five of air. So air coming in here. Ace of air. I love that. Whoop, here they're jumping. We have the king of air. Wow. Look at this. Ace of air, king of air, five of air. What do we have here? Queen of fire with after king of air. Wow. Very interesting. And right off the bat, I'm being told, let's let us... Um, dive right into, I want to read actually from this book. My goodness. Ever have those days your fingers just, <laughs> your hands and your fingers are just not, not doing it. <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Um, I want to get into, I'm hearing, let's look into this card here to start this five of air. Um, illusion, reality, separation, self-sabotage, self-deception, criticism, conditioning, healing, a conflict between reality and belief, a time for honesty, let go of illusion and, illusion and pretense, face a painful reality, you are not alone, advice and constructive criticism are not a personal attack, drop the mask, reveal your true self, forgive others for wearing their masks. The five of air represents a conflict between what is real and what is believed. It addresses the need for honesty and the courage to let go of a self-deception that has been held onto in order to hide and protect from a painful reality. This painful reality may be one that we choose to deny, but even so, it influences uh, influence can still create dissonance in our lives and work in a corrosive manner that gives rise to conflicted thoughts and desire and a desire to avoid and procrastinate and and eventual self-sabotage of our creative endeavors it can also manifest in a desire to withdraw and separate ourselves from those who love us Okay, so right off the bat here, I'm feeling like I'm feeling like this is about a person. I want to jump actually right into the Ace of Air. I should have stayed there because um, I wanted I want to jump into this Ace of Air. Um, new ideas, personal truth, paradigms, originality, individualism, motivation, choices, and belief. A new personal ideology. Unlearn and let go. Fact and genuine knowledge. Honor personal truth. Know your mind. The Ace of Air symbolizes a new way of thinking. It suggests it is now time to let go of old, outdated beliefs and ideas that no longer serve and make a way for a new and independently formed personal ideology. Yeah, and we're going to jump straight over into that King of Air 2. Disciplined, ethical, commanding, expert, forceful, precise. A time for ethical behavior. No room to, for compromise. See the advice of an expert. Okay. And just to round it off, let's take a look at what, I, what pops with this. Um... 
it's so weird as you turn there we go as you turn these pages it always lands on an in-between page so it doesn't show you the actual picture pages or the beginning of the page it's so weird how i don't know why i've never seen a book do that before it's really really weird okay and queen of fire warm vibrant sensual sexual independence primal expansive energetic be optimistic and enthusiastic and engage and stimulate all senses Give your full attention. Be focused and confident. Take pleasure in life. The Queen of Fire is a strong and powerful woman. She is someone who is not afraid to go after what that which she desires most. She is focused and determined and very optimistic. Those around her find her charismatic and engaging. Her warm and expansive nature draws people to her like moths to a flame. Okay, so getting a good picture here of what is going on. Um, but yet i'm being told before we continue to um get our uh backup cards here our clarifiers whoa okay the queen of cups so queen of water coming in under so we have two queens here coming under that five of air then we have the king of cups holy shit then we have the King of Cups coming in with the Queen of Cups at like boom, boom together underneath the Ace. So the King of Cups, King of Water coming in uh, under that Ace of Air. Then we have the Four of Pentacles. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, I am really digging this a lot i cannot wait to tell you what i'm seeing here um and the four of swords okay is our last card here so okay Whew. so what i see here is there's some situation some person somebody that is literally acting like an anchor for you but not in a good way they are it, it could be a group but i really see this as a person this could be um a boss a best friend a lover um uh, um somebody it's somebody close to you that you that there is a conflict with history maybe what you've done together who they are to you your your experiences together um but there things are are going in a separate direction this very well could even be somebody you're married to a really serious commitment type person it could be a mother a father an aunt an uncle this is somebody um of of a power type influence in your life somebody that you care about but somebody that you're growing apart from and i feel like um there's been energies coming in to tell you like there's a better situation for you there's somebody there's somebody here that you're connected to that i think that you felt like there needs to be a disconnection or you need to pull back from because their energy influences the energy around you and because of that your forward movement isn't happening like i said at the beginning it feels like an anchor it feels like you've gone as as far as you can go like like i feel like somebody move like a rubber band attached to your back and you're trying to move forward but you're getting pulled back um like this person doesn't want you to move forward um, because I think they sense that you're going in a very different direction than they're comfortable with. Maybe you're getting into the more esoteric, um, uh, metaphysical, spiritual stuff, probably why you're here. And they aren't so into it. Maybe they're, maybe they're not 
fully outwardly you know coming down on it but it's clear that it's like that stuff again or you just you just get into a point where it's like i can't talk about this i can't share what's going on revelations dreams projections meditations new people that i'm finding is stuff that is is exciting me that sort of thing um and there's a real disconnect here with that queen of queen of fire and king of air so it feels like this you could you could be either one of these people and they could be either one of these people um honestly but it feels like honestly it's like this person is really more the person that it's like they're the opposite of that they're the they're like instead of um being someone very stable for you and helpful for you they have the opposite they may come off a certain way and maybe you may think that you need them or you have a partnership in some way but the direction that you need to go in or that you're destined to go in is not the direction that they are destined to go in and their energy around you is literally keeping your destiny from you um you are this person who needs to you know move forward who is very strong who does need you know it's like there are certain people i guess who could just be like well this is this whole new thing that is interesting to me isn't going to fit into my little constructed life or relationship or relationships or family or whatever so i'm just going to let that go and i'll do something else i'll get into something else that people are more comfortable with um but that's that's not like this is not that's not what we're talking about here we're talking about a situation where it's like I really can't move forward here because I feel so like I'm not supported that what I'm what I'm into what I'm trying to do what I'm trying to create for myself I'm trying to get better I'm trying to heal I'm trying to do all these things and the energy here is the complete opposite it's like I'm seeing like trying to meditate and get into your crystals and work with cards and then there's like you know loud like video games or a movie or sports or something going on in the background it's like trying to meditate in a in a like what's that uh in a hooters or something like that. it's really interesting so i see like one person um and this could be kind of either way but i am kind of feeling more like the divine feminine is the one that's wanting to move forward the divine masculine is wanting to stay where they're at and not allow the divine feminine to move forward um but regardless that is your destiny that is where you need to go you need to come into yourself about the situation about what's going on um and this whole thing with kind of whoa kind of not dealing with it yet not wanting to see it for what it is just kind of giving i hear it, giving it more time giving it more time maybe they'll come around like maybe it won't be so hard maybe things don't have to fully change because i think that it's like seeing into the future about well if this it's like pulling apart like the house of cards or the jenga it's like once you remove this piece then this piece falls and this piece falls it's the tower and we didn't get the tower but i feel that here but it's kind of like maybe we're just not at the tower yet maybe again we started off with a personal resolution um it seeks what is this personal reaches a resolution so it's not necessarily like it's a done deal but it's like the understanding of the situation the acceptance of the situation and then look at what we have after that and 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 to, and in reading this here we have remember the the king and the queen of cups together 
So we have that like, like that balancing out of energies. And this is these two belong together. These two do not. So we have the 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 king or the the king of air, the queen of fire, and then we have the king and the queen of cups coming in directly after that to be like, look, um this situation or your life, your destiny doesn't have to be this boiling point all the time. As if we had because that's kind of or this like this tornado or fire tornado it feels like I see like every time I try to step outside there's some like intensity going on when we want more of a flow like I see you like oh and then there's a river that we can step into and just go with the flow and the energy and so this is saying within yourself, we have this on the horizon, but we need to get past this like illusion of what it is right now and that it has to stay like that or something to that effect. Um, and this four of pentacles is, um, is saying like if you're worried about finances or taking care of yourself or having the support that you need it is there it is definitely there you have that here with these cards with this with this king and this queen of water there's a lot of healing that needs to take place but i i really feel that even in this situation it's kind of like once you make the decision to change whatever needs to be changed, maybe you need to move, maybe you need to start a new job, maybe you do need to break up with this person, maybe, um, you know, some deep talks need to happen, like, whatever it is, it's going to be fine. And it feels like this other person or situation is kind of waiting for you to make this decision. Like, they're not going to do it because they're not the one changing. You're the one changing they're just like observing what's going on and part of them is kind of like are they just going to revert back to be nor normal or are they going to continue on this path and we're just going in two completely separate directions um and lastly we had so we have these two fours yeah 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 king yeah so so this four of of want or swords here, um, again a lot of air, a lot of sword energy. Um, this is really talking about a time like after, like moving into these energies. It's kind of like this. Uh, like we're going up, we're going to deal with this climaxing kind of event that's going to push us in a new direction. And then we're going to go in that new direction. And um, we're going to need, we're going to need to take time to let that settle in. And I feel that that's kind of what we've got going on with, um, with this sorry i'm i'm being pulled towards the archetype cards is what i feel coming in with this month of april this last week of march and into the month of april i feel like we have a um a restructuring time a time of of transition uh in the inner and the outer um, this might move swiftly. This might take a little bit more time. Um, we're going to be getting into the um, the archetype cards of the for the self. Um, so this will be whatever aspect of self we need to look at and get information for for to help you through this. Um, because it, it is truly about needing to see things for what they are, letting go of a situation that no longer serves you and coming into balance within yourself. 
So let's see what we get here for you. There we go. No. <laughs> that was interesting. Actually, let's take this here. Oops. Let's see what we we got the mystic. Look at this. That's so funny. When I flipped it over, I saw the mystic. And then look at that. We get the mystic. So let's see here what, what it says about the mystic. And how this energy can help you in the future. What card is this? Card number 11. I've seen a lot of 11s here today. Um... No, it's not card number 11. 21. What is my deal with new Roman numerals lately? Especially upside down. Have a hard time with that. <laughs> okay. The mystic, the seer, the light worker, the dreamer. The mystic is often misunderstood in our culture, depicted as a wandering or lighthearted daydreamer. Yet like Shiva, the true mystic plays a critical role in society, remaining fearlessly dedicated to the path of transformation. In order to save the earth from darkness, Shiva swallows the poison of the world and holds it in his throat, slowly transmuting the liquid into nectar. This is the work of the mystic. They do not fear darkness, but rather sit in the presence of it, harness the potential and latent energy behind it, and embed it with light. They are patient and prudent change makers, seeking growth above all else. Unanswerable questions are the mystic's lifeblood. The mystic uh, revels in mystery and the great riddle of life, dancing with the forces of light and dark upon its wings. And when light, uh, remover of darkness, visionary, ageless, when dark asks, expects results, seeks attention and recognition. And um, like any light worker, the mystic must build a relationship with fire. This begins by awakening the inner flame. And it may seem that the mystic is inward facing, yet its light beams back to the world with the strength of a thousand stars. Uh, and clearly, um, I identify as a mystic, um, as a shaman, mystic, healer, all these different things. But um, understanding this energy of the mystic with this read is really, really telling because it's saying like, here you are like a mystic person, this really spiritual person and um, are you getting more spiritual. It's like, you know, this the, the mystic in you needs to come out, but it's being stifled by whatever the person in the environment is that that you're that you are so attached to. That's like I'm trying to have both worlds at the same time and your mystic ways are saying, you know, it really doesn't work that way. To fully transition, we need to fully transition. That means to let go of certain aspects of ourself, our history, our experiences, and the people, the geography, the, the work, everything changes as we change too. It's just the way that it goes. And I can understand, and I'm seeing here this like, oh, can it just stay the same but be different at the same time? No, <laughs> it just can't. It just doesn't work that way. We're in a constant state of change and evolution and we need to change. We need to. And if we're this type of person to deny that from us um, it, or for us is really, really detrimental to our health. I'm also feeling that um, that for a lot of you maybe still needing to understand what it means to be an empath is a big deal here. That your empathic abilities, your psychic telepathic ways, your ways of tapping in and, and feeling other people and energies have gotten to a point where it's just too difficult to ignore or um, 
um, on a general level, but then very specifically for certain people in your life or certain situations, it's like impossible to not pick up on these things that are coming through um, to, to help you like to see like for you to see like it, it's like, you know, you pick up on a person's mood and energy and they're unhappy, they're uncomfortable, they're they're angry or sad or whatever and and you can't ignore that in your space it affects you um so that needs to be greatly looked at too who who in your environment are the energy vampires this could be a this could be a situation where as a miss as a the mystic energy as a light worker as a empath you're somebody who attracts people to you that need healing that need clearing that need to work things out and understand they they as it as she said here about the mystic the mystic doesn't run from the dark they seek the dark they want the mysterious questions to be answered they are a truth seeker they're constantly digging deeper and wanting to understand stuff and so when you're naturally that person, people gravitate to you to, to for help in that, in that regard, whether you're doing it professionally or not. I, I know from my own experiences from years ago, I kind of understood that I had this group of people around me that I was constantly counseling and being their like, you know, resident count. This is before I, be, I knew what I was. Um, I was just, and then, but I, what started to come was that like, I'm this for all of these people and nobody is that for me. Like, where's, where's my, you know, where's that for me? Where's my support? Where's my empathy? Where's somebody that's going to hear me vent? It's always coming in, 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 and I, there's just nowhere to go out with it because this is just the what's been created around me and i had a major part to play in that i had to say okay i'm going to take inventory of the people in my life the relationships in my life and really start taking inventory of the output and the input and and who's a taker and who's a giver and is there balance in these relationships and i found within a few months of you know really thinking and and really taking a look very without the mask on without their mask or my mask and just stripping it all down and seeing what it is just what goes on what happens and really starting to see things clearly and what needed to go what needed to stay what i needed to to put more energy into because this was a person that really did, you know, really did care about me and wanted balance in my life and wanted to see, you know, the best for me and weren't just in my life for when they needed me. Um, so there may be a component of that as well. But whatever the case is here, this is definitely about um, uh, realizations and of for yourself and understanding that there's a lot locked up into the energies with the people the places and the situations that you have going on and that you're being guided to um to really start working on transitioning away from what no longer works for you in your life and think about um, what needs to change and how you're going to change that. So let's see what we get here with the hidden worlds. That's where I reached for here. Here we go. The secret. <laughs> The secret. Look at that beautiful card. The unknown mysteries, wonders. <laughs> so here we are again with the unknown mysteries, stuff like that. So we have a little theme going on here. Oh, what card number is that? Card 40. <clears throat> Oh, 
Okay, let's see what we got here. The Unknown Mysteries Wonders. We walk through this world and so does she by our side, re releasing to us the understanding that we can measure with our minds at any time. We claim we wish to know, that we desire to understand the reasons and the ways of the universe, but the truth is our minds can only connect you so much and understand so much from our human framework at any given time. So she holds the entire mystery that is us within her hands and from them flows just enough to keep us seeking, questioning, yearning, searching. It is not a uh, deliberate withholding, but a way of measuring out experience for to release the entire knowledge of the Akashic records and for all souls uh, and of all souls into one being would be would be to disrupt us to the point of madness yeah <laughs> things need to come in at a at a certain flow and not if we got all of what we're ever going to get all at once like imagine if imagine if we're going to live to be a hundred and and all of that knowledge comes in now how that would completely mess us up so know that there are unknowns accept that there are secrets focus instead on the laws you can work with and accept the wonder that is the presence of the soul's multiple selves lives expressions and know it is a fragment of the greater whole this is why we have lifetime after lifetime this is why we experience so much this is why you have suffered and struggled and learned and let go and finally come to a place of compassion within yourself. The totality of your magnificence will not be lost and is known when we return to a time between the lifetimes to the home of our souls. She holds the secret and you hold the key and when you are discovering more and more with every breath, with every step on this journey called your life. And illumination mantra, I am at peace with the mystery that is my existence. I will explore and discover, yet know that there are greater secrets and other lifetimes to wit in which to explore them. So yeah, we're never done. We're never going to be finished getting all of our information, learning, exploring. We need multiple, multiple lifetimes to do that. We have major, massive journeys we need to go on within each lifetime and as a whole. But one thing that I that I, I'm picking up with this card here um, to round out this reading and what's going on here, um, which is really interesting. We get the mystic and then we get um, this with the secret. So it's it's really <clears throat> can't make this up. Wow. It's really interesting with this because we have um it's like the mystic walks with this energy, with this, with this beautiful guide that slowly gives us information to, in which to work off of. And in this reading here, it's saying there's more, there's so much more that needs to come in for you to work on with yourself, with creation, with um, your own story with other people and it's not until you you um, go through the motions of reorganizing the components in your life the energy in your life to suit where you are now and where you're going will there be will there feel like there is actual like steady flow because it feel excuse me it feels like it's been stop and go stop and go because that's what you've been able to manage and handle given the environment the people the situation whatever that you're in that is like seriously two worlds it's like i'm in this world and then i'm in this world and that works for a certain amount of time but then it gets to a point where it just does not work anymore and we have to we have to change things in order to, for it to reflect what's going on on a spiritual level and with this it's clear what's happening here 
you're somebody who um, and I'm talking to people here who um, need to have that open door to the other side for that to come through for you to be able to to anchor here and live here comfortably happily um, and to fulfill your destiny seriously one last thing we're gonna do I keep thinking of my sacred geometry cards because I feel like we need a little bit more help here um to get you going um but aside from that i i want to invite you to um of course cutting cords my my ebook on cutting cords the meditation if you're new to me if you haven't done any of that or been to my website please check that out also about empaths the essential empath guide um is literally essential if you're an empath and also has a quiz at the beginning that will help you understand and recognize um, where you're at as far as you know, the scale of empaths. I am a psychic physical empath. I literally feel in my body what other people feel in their body, exactly how they feel it. And then I'm also given the information to understand what that is, um, help the person heal, clear it, and, um, and then, you know, uh, transition from that energy so I'm like way off the charts here as far as like empath and what that means to be an empath but there's a, a, a big uh, wide um, array of of what that is for any any of us um, so there's that but most most importantly what comes what's coming here that I can I can send you to to help you with is a um, that is really perfect would be the meditation that I did for uh, was on 214 for Valentine's Day and that was body love and meet with your guardian angel um, I really feel that that's gonna help you a lot and let's see what we have here for our sacred geometry or from our sacred geometry oracle is uh, frequency 741 so let me get right into that with 741 expression of course because this is about you needing to express needing to live authenticity needing to live um from that needing you know getting the secrets and and then you know uh transitioning them into or um uh activating them you know into your life and then putting them out into the world however that's meant to be okay so let's see here with 741 expression I live a healthy, happy, and carefree existence by allowing myself to self-express my needs, want, needs, want, wants, and desires. 741 Hertz is here to remind you that we all have the right to express freely what we want to say or do. When we choose not to voice ourselves the way we are meant to, we are not being true to ourselves. Human nature is very complex and rather than allowing us to just pursue everything that we want in life, it makes us work for it. Even though there are many ways for us to get from A to B, one of the biggest lessons we learn in this lifetime is to voice what it is we want and how we choose to get there and frequency by using certain sounds and frequencies we're able to enhance our senses and create a deeper connection to spirit every sound has a, a different vibration solfago frequency 741 carries the sound and vibration of soul s-o-l this frequency helps cleanse the body of toxins in latin is it is expressed as solve solve puliti as it cleanses the body from electromagnetic radiation and various pollutants it encourages a cleaner way of eating and a simpler lifestyle to lead it also encourages you to start using self-expression to help move forward in life to be all you can be practical application when 741 hertz is shown to you it is saying it is time to express what you want for yourself fear and the lack of courage or even embarrassment can slow us down it is 
this that we need to overcome to create a result of balance and stability in our life and to find the solutions necessary to reach our goals. The other use of this tone is to work as a cleanser of toxins from a cellular level. By frequently using this tone, we can help create a healthier lifestyle for ourselves and as our resonance changes, we choose to eat and maintain healthier lifestyles. In a quiet space, focus on this sound and the intention of what you want to release to allow you the freedom of self-expression and to create for yourself a healthier and happier existence. Work with the color blue when using this frequency and the card numerology is three and crystal suggestions, rose quartz, snowflake obsidian, uh, Christ, Christ cola and blue lace agate. There we have it. So the mystic coming through the secret coming through and just this general um read is about being authentic being you expressing and living the way that you need to um and maybe i didn't use that word express but when you live authentically you're going to express authentically and like i said before there's been this like holding back and stifled kind of situation going on with you this could be internal i'm hearing like this could just be like a you not like like keeping everything internalized and not expressing a whole lot to the people around you and it getting to this point now where it's like okay i need to start talking about this stuff and and whatever happens happens kind of thing but in any regard um 741 so you're gonna want to um find this frequency go to youtube look up 741 hertz and see what comes up um whether it's the binarial beats or just the regular frequency that you just listen to what we're listening to now here in the background this is um hertz 11 11 um spiritual hug of an angel unconditional love of guardian angels i just love this this music um, but each frequency helps us in different ways. And this is literally talking about releasing toxins, releasing energies that are holding you back. Totally what we've been talking about. Like we need to go. It needs to flow. Like when you're this type of person, anything that's going to impede or that's going to be heavy in the body is going to make it make make us feel really out of balance make it hard for information to come in make it difficult to make decisions make it difficult to feel like we're doing what we need to do at any given time so with that said hopefully you feel empowered you have you feel like you know you're validated um that maybe you, you've been feeling a little like is this real is this true what's going on i'm i'm kind of confused is everything going to change is it supposed to all of that stuff and remember lastly a personal issue reaches resolution this is truly about and there's that blue and this is <laughs> look at those two coming wow wowza <laughs> that is really cool <laughs> um personal issue reaches resolution so yes this is about that what's going on on the inside and how it needs to express on the outside and how you need to um arrange the components of your life to match the frequency of what needs to come in and sit and come through you creationally spiritually all of these things so connected and um lastly really really please consider um working through um through self-guided meditations or guided meditations for self-healing i do have quite a few and more are coming i promise you i thought they were going to be coming in march but there is a lot of sorting out that I needed to do for myself before I get started on doing more offerings out. Um, and, but nevertheless, there are a lot, there is a lot there that you can get started with if you haven't already. And with that, I want to thank you for being here and, um, 
watching this video, watching this portion of it, and um, being a part of, of this energy. Please let me know how this resonated with you. Uh, drop a comment in the video description. Let me know which set was yours and how it resonates with you. And um, I wish you a beautiful full moon going forward and the rest of March and into April. Until next time. Bye for now.